Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about what is the difference between the date and date has function. So many times you have to deal with the dates like a normal data it has a date as a normal field whether order date, shipping date, customer purchase date so on and so forth and many times we struggle with date format because click we show some sort of weird behavior when you are trying to display dates doing some sort of calculations or some sort of operations on dates and it is not producing the output as per your expected format so similar to my previous video where i have talked about what is the difference between a num and a num hash function here i am going to talk about the date and date hash function so in a similar way, like I sh explained in my previous video, the num the date hash function basically reads or parses the string as per the incoming format so that click view can understand it. Now click view usually it has an intelligent engine where it understand what the date field is and uh, how the date format is. But sometimes it is not that much efficient or capable if let's say your string is in a very complex format which sometimes even as a human eye, even you struggle it to read and understand it in very quickly. And you take a couple of minutes to really understand the pattern. Oh, that's how that the data or the date field is uh, basically producing the output for us. So in this video, we will see what is a, a difference with the help of an example. What is the difference between the date and date hash function? And uh, let's so let's go ahead and create it because much of our theory is not required and quick action will clear all of this thing. So text objects, let's create it. And first of all, let's take the date hash function. So for example, uh, let's say your date is coming in a format, which is DD, I'm um, sorry, uh, we need to provide a text and then the format. So date is basically, let's say 2011 and 05 and 22. So if it is coming to you, the date is coming to you in a file or in a field in such a format, then even you will take a time to really understand and you know think through it. Okay, where is my year? Where is my month? Or where is my date field? And then once you got it, you come here and specify, basically tells ClickView, hey ClickView, this is how I'm going to supply the data. Please understand it in this way. So you are going to specify the format, which is Y, 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 and then D, I'm sorry, the M, M, and then D, D. All right. Once you do that, you click OK, and it produces a similar output. It doesn't do anything. It's just a layman or, or similar to an interpreter. You are telling, OK, this is how the value is uh, looking. An interpret has it in, in its mind. Now, as an interpreter, it should have the capability where it can interpret and tell it to somebody else that okay though it is coming as an input like this but this is how it actually is in your own language all right so before i format it with the help of date function as an output let's try to see what happens if we change the uh, parameters so we have y y y y and then let's say we enter dd and mm so in this way, we are incorrectly format, incorrectly reading the string because 22 is not at all any month. And but let's see how date hash reacts to it. So you click apply and OK and nothing happens. So click view is simply producing the output, though the output is produced, but it is not the correct formatted output. Then how will you know that it is not a correct formatted output? Well, you will know when you will actually try to display it for the end user. So we will take the output of this string with the help of the date function. So what we can do is we can go into the properties and we will go specify date. And within date, we are giving a parameter. Okay, this is how your date is coming and this is the format. And let's give the output in the format of, let's say, mm slash dd slash y y y all right and let's see what the output comes apply and okay as you can see there is nothing which is coming as the output and the reason is 
that we have given the incorrect parameters or the format string when we were formatting or reading the data. So if we go back and try to see y y y y d d m m and now try to change it, change it to m m, change it to d t, and now click it apply and OK. Well, as, you, as soon as you click apply, it produces the output in a right format because now within the date hash, you are reading the string in a right format. So again, to show you, if we are reading the string in an incorrect format, let's say we enter dd and mm, then click apply, it will not produce anything. But if we are reading it in a right way, which is uh, mm and dd, then it reads first within the date hash function and give the output with the help of the date function in the format that is our name. So that's the basic difference and the requirement that you correctly read first for the click view so that it can understand with the help of the data hash function and then based on the need of your end users about how they want to see the data see the dates you need to format it with the help of the date function so that's that's uh, that's the key difference between the uh, date and date hash function and the way you can really use and interpret it when you are working with the dates, doing any operations on that.